Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and I upload every Sunday here on my channel. So make sure you definitely subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video from me. So normally I upload every Sunday, but starting tomorrow, December 14th, I am starting my version of Vlogmas. And what I mean by my version is I'm not doing it every day of December. I am doing it every day leading up to Christmas for the 12 days of Vlogmas. So that's why I'm starting tomorrow because that'll be 12 days to Christmas. So um, make sure you come back tomorrow for the start of that and then every day until Christmas I will be uploading for Vlogmas and I'm really excited about it. I've been pre-filming a bunch of really awesome videos for you guys and I'm really 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 excited about it and actually the very first video that I have planned for Vlogmas is so fun and I'm so excited about it so definitely definitely check back tomorrow for that. But for today's video as you can tell today is a day in my life video. I don't really do day in my life videos that often because I don't do a whole lot but I figured you know since the semester is almost over we can just kind of talk about like how things went this semester and my plans going forward as far as college and stuff like that just kind of show you the things that I have to do in a day in my life so today is let's go check out my calendar Okay, so today is Wednesday the 9th, as you can see here. And as you can see, I have class at 12.30. And then I also have a final today. My statistics final is today. And I am really, really nervous about it because I have to get a certain grade to, like, pass the class. Um, because I've not done well this semester at all. So, like, actually, let's just talk about that really quickly. So, it's 12.20 and I have to be on my, um, Zoom class in about 10 minutes. So I want to talk to you guys about this semester while I go ahead and get that set up So this semester has obviously been kind of a whirlwind for all of us But honestly, I have struggled way more than I ever 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 thought I was going to and um I'm not even full-time in college right now. I'm only part-time. I'm only taking three classes and it has been one of the most difficult things that I've ever done. I don't work well in an environment where I'm basically having to teach myself and I don't have the opportunity to sit there and ask questions as things are being explained and as things are being taught to me. I'm more of an audible learner. So like somebody literally standing in front of me and like teaching me and also showing me so I guess I'm like visual and audible so basically if I don't have a professor standing in front of me lecturing and teaching and like showing things on the board and whatnot and me be able to like ask questions right in that moment and get answers and then follow up questions if I, if I still don't understand I don't learn well that way and not having a school environment to wor work in either is not helpful because when I'm at home and I'm sure a lot of you guys have felt this too like it literally it feels so optional when you're at home you know what I mean and even when you do end up like putting in the work and stuff you're not giving your best effort it's not your greatest work like it's just hard i've just not been been doing well with this format whatsoever obviously things are not looking like they're gonna go back to normal next semester which is really 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 upsetting to me but that means that i am gonna have to figure out like how to get better at doing online school because this semester like i'm barely scraping by this semester i don't even know for sure yet if i'm gonna pass some of my classes like it's just been really 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 hard and i've not figured out how to how to do it yet so hopefully over break i can come up with some kind of strategy to try and get better next semester and do better next semester. I think part of it too was just like a mental health thing because when I first started out the semester I felt like I kind of started off strong and had like sort of a good strategy going for myself. It burnt me out pretty quickly but it was working at the time. Since then my mental health has very quickly deteriorated because of just everything going on in the world and in my life personally and so I feel like that took a toll on like everything in my life. It took a toll on you know my schooling. It took a toll on my work like on everything so that made it even harder for me to really put all of myself into school like I normally would so I don't know anyway I just kind of wanted to like talk to you guys about that because I know that a lot of you are probably feeling the same way and you're probably taking a sigh of relief that now that the semester is coming to an end or probably is over for a lot of you now but anyway it is now two minutes until my um zoom class so I am going to go ahead and log on and then I will see you guys right afterwards what's up everybody So 
So it is 12.43 right now, for context. That class started at 12.30. It was literally 13 minutes long because he just kind of asks everybody what's going on and then that's it. So, um, and in case anybody was wondering, this is kind of like my little setup here. Um, this little table I think is from Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but it's really nice. It has like a little drawer over here that has a extra piece in it. And then this part like comes up to if you need your laptop to be like elevated. And then obviously my MacBook. Right now I kind of need to figure out what I need to get done today and maybe make like a to-do list. Um, I know the biggest thing today is my final but I do have other like assignments to get done other than that and mostly for this class and I need to like check my email and stuff. I really wish that this could have just been like a trial semester and none of these grades actually counted. That would be phenomenal. Okay anyway I'm going to um, start making my to-do list now because I have no idea what's going on or what I'm doing so. Hey guys, so quick update. It is now 5, 4.59 or 5 o'clock and I have not taken my exam yet, my stats exam, because I'm too scared to. Like I literally am terrified to take it because I'm afraid that I'm not going to get a good enough grade to pass the class. Um, I've literally just been sitting here staring at the review for like since I talked to you guys last and I'm really 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 nervous and I'm also starving to death and I don't know if I should get something to eat first and then take the test or if I should take the test and then get something to eat because I'm not like, I mean, if I think about it, like, worst case scenario, I retake it next semester, but I just really don't want to have to do that. I literally, I have to get a D. I have to get a D on the exam to pass this class, which you would think wouldn't be difficult, except for the fact that I have done so bad in this class this semester that a D is, like, I feel like is not going to be an easy thing for me to achieve. So I'm just sitting here really, really stressed out about it. Yeah? Do you think that I should eat before or after I take the exam? I mean, if you think you'll feel better getting something in your stomach, don't take it on an empty stomach. Your brain will probably function better if you have, you know, food in your belly. That's what I was thinking, but then I was like, or am I just making excuses to push it off? <laughs> it's up to you. I'm thinking I should eat first. All right, so decision's been made. I'm going to eat first. So now I have to figure out what I want to eat. My car not starting okay um on our way to go get food I think I'm probably gonna go to chick-fil-a that's what sounds the best right now so so I totally forgot to vlog while I was actually at chick-fil-a but I'm home now and I'm gonna eat and I'm not gonna vlog it because my camera's about to die but um, I did go and get my food just completely forgot to record while I was there so <laughs> Hello you guys, um, so I'm in the middle of my exam right now, it's 10.30 at night, and I'm about 20 minutes in, and I'm really freaking out right now because I don't know if I'm getting the questions right or not, and this exam means everything because if I don't pass this exam then I don't pass the class, and this whole thing started with my laptop being at 5% and my charger wouldn't work. Like it just stopped functioning. So I didn't like I didn't know what I was gonna do. But my mom's charger actually works with my laptop. So it's stuck at 4% right now because it's not a real MacBook charger, but I just really don't wanna have to retake this class. This whole semester has just been so awful. And I'm so scared. I'm gonna try and uh, finish. 
finish the exam and I'll let you guys know if I pass or not. <laughs> so wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so um, I just answered the last question and now it's asking me to submit my quiz right there as you can see. And I'm really scared. I just hit submit. Now it's asking me to like confirm that I want to submit it. <sighs> my heart is literally racing so fast. You guys have no idea. I'm so nervous right now. Oh my god, it's processing. I don't want to look. I don't want to look at what I got. It's up on the screen right now and I, I don't want to look. <sighs> oh no. I got a 60% exactly. I got an 82 out of 135. Okay, so um, it is now two days later since I last saw you guys. A lot has happened in those two days. So first of all, let me give you an update on my final grade for my stats class. I ended up passing. Um, I got exactly a 60% on the exam which you guys saw and I emailed my professor and I asked him if I ended up making the D for the class and he said yes. The second thing that happened was uh, last night at midnight Taylor Swift released another album. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless about it to be honest with you. Um, it's called Evermore and it is a sister album, is what she said, um, to Folklore, which was the album that she released earlier this year, I believe like about five months ago. And then yesterday, all of a sudden, she was just like, hey, I'm giving you guys another album tonight at midnight. That's probably going to be the end of this video, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys are super, super excited for Vlogmas starting tomorrow because I am so excited. So if you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out since I'm a smaller YouTuber. And also don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss out every single day for the next couple of weeks when I'm posting for Vlogmas. And yeah, I think that is about it. Also, all of my social media will be in the description, including my Instagram, which I'm really trying to grow right now. So you should definitely go and follow me over there. That is it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.